Good day guys, um, I'm going to do a test today with um, the Seaflow Bilge, the 1100 GPH, so one of these. Um, and test it against these cheap pumps to see um, what the amperage is and how much power they're actually using. So, I was actually going out prospecting this morning and when I was packing the car up yesterday, I noticed one of the pumps, the outlet had cracked off. And then when I went, because I went, no bugger, I'll just change them over to the sea flows. I went to take the other one off. And the other one went. Um, I've only ever happened, had this happen once before. Same sort of cheap pumps. My sea flows I used for two years on the creek, bashing them about. Never had a drama of these things. This is now three pumps that have failed all the same way. Let alone the power that they're using. But this is going to be the test to see. I'm going to run the sea flows one by one. And I'm going to run these one by one. No outlets, no hoses, no restrictions. And let's see what these things actually use. So this is the first sea flow, brand new out of the box. I'll just get that. It's kicking about a bit, so, but... Oh. I'm just trying to get it under the water. And then I'm trying to film this at the same time. So... Now that I've got it actually held under the water, there you go. Just over... 3 amps. Oh. Alright, so just over 3 amps. I'm going to plug in one of these cheapies and just see what it pull is pulling. Then I'll plug the other C-flow in and see what that's doing. So I'll compare all four pumps and see what's going on. Alright, time for the first of the old cheapos. So not too much different than the sea flow. Haven't looked at the wattage and all the rest of it here, but yeah, not too much difference. Well, it's going to be interesting to see what's happening um, with the other one of these cheapos. I'll do that one first and I'll finish off with another sea flow. Okay, second of the um, cheap pumps. Look, that one's a little bit more, but nothing, nothing too much. All right, I'm going to try now and hook both old cheapos up together and see what that's actually doing. Okay, here we go. Two of the cheap pumps together. I think it's got something to do with the load running through the um, actual hoses. But they were still a, lot, a bit higher, but you're yeah, not getting it. Not getting what the hell's going on there. 
I actually think once they're put under a bit of load and they've got to pump that water through the hoses, um, there possibly is an issue. Well, I'm going to keep trying this and seeing what the hell's going on. Alright, this is just one of those El Chifo pumps going. And I, I think part of the problem is they're all over the joint. Like, they're not consistent. The first time you've seen when I was running it, they're actually looking good. Fire it up a second time, and it's doing something else. Any ideas, guys? Any ideas what is actually happening with these bilges? I'm gonna just do a final bit now um, and have the two C flows connected and see what's going on with those two. See just what the amps are coming out of the two C flows. All right, both C flows. Um, I'm gonna plug these in, then I'm gonna get the pumps and hold them in the right sort of direction under the water. Because they're just going to go flying around the roof because the hoses aren't connected. And then let's just watch these amps and let's see what's going on. My conclusion, and this is only my conclusion. Um, I will never, ever buy those red and blue and white nonsense, because they're just nonsense. Like, Honestly, I think these things are getting around the 15 to 18 buck mark. Um, if you buy four of those, they're 20 bucks a pop. I think 25 individually, and I think you, they drop down to about 22.50 um, by themselves. As you can see by that amperage, they're sucking half of what they are. So, I did get, that was pulling seven amps, and I did get um, an hour and 25 minutes out of this battery pack, which is the, the 12 um, amp hour one. I'd easily get that now out of those. And let's just say you went for the 24, which I, I think the 24 is more ideally set up for prospecting you've got two of those cigarette sockets you can just have the pumps running individually into each socket um, it does let you get 120 watts out of the unit rather than and that's probably at each socket rather than the 100 watts out of this one but for the matter of about five even if it was ten bucks you're using half the power. Um, it's got to be worth something. You know, half your power or your battery life for the day, you get twice as long to prospect. They'll pay for themselves, especially if you're digging for twice as long. Um, they'll pay for themselves probably on the first trip, you know, that 10 bucks. Um, surprised. It actually um, has surprised me. But I know someone who will take these two pumps off my hands. Um, I've repaired those nozzles before I've got one that I use. 
just for cleanups at home. So I can I'll glue them in and um, use some plumbing glue and stuff and fix them all up. And I know there'll be someone uh, who will want those to run stupid wattage or stupid ampage. But there you go, C flow. I'm uh, quite impressed. Um, and I'll be going on my hose, or the two hoses that I've got for my eye banker, and hopefully hitting the creek tomorrow, but we'll see what happens. Till the um, next time, I'll catch you all later.